Even though you might start out with one type of chart, you can easily switch that to a new chart type and subtype. To do that, you want to first select your chart and make sure it is the active element on your page. This will give you your chart tools feature and the design tab, layout tab, and format tab that fall under chart tools. Let's go ahead and take a look at the design tab by selecting it. Notice that within the design tab on the types group you have a change chart type command. Go ahead and select that and it will open up all the various chart types that you have access to as well as when you select one of those chart types you'll see the sub chart types listed over here on the right. So if I wanted to change my current chart into a column chart, I would choose the column category and then come over here into the subtypes and choose the subtype that you'd like to use for your chart. I'll go ahead and choose this clustered cylinder sub chart type. When I select that, I can then come down here and say OK. And notice that my pie chart is converted into a column cluster cylinder chart. Let's go ahead and apply this to our project. What I'd like you to do is make active your sales monthly spreadsheet that you've been working on in the previous movie or you can open up a file that reflects the development of this course up to this point in the tutorial by opening up 10 04 start file which you'll find in your Excel 2007 course directory in the chapter 10 folder. When you open this up you should see our sales monthly worksheet and at the very bottom here we have our chart that we created to show the profit based on product. What we're going to do is change our chart at the bottom into a bar chart. So let's go ahead and select that chart so it is the active element on our page and then again come here to your design tab under the chart tools feature in the ribbon select that and come over here to the change chart type command and select that and let's change this into a bar chart so we'll go ahead and select bar and for the sub type let's go ahead and choose the first one which is a clustered bar subtype for the bar type chart. Go ahead and select that by clicking it once and then come down here to the OK button and select that by clicking it once. And notice that now our chart changes to reflect the bar type and it's a little easier to read what's going on. Notice that we don't have enough room in the height of this chart to view all of our products. So let's go ahead and make the chart bigger by positioning your mouse on the bottom border on the middle handle so that you get the double arrow tool. Click and drag and pull down so that we have more room and we can now easily see what each of these products are. Notice that I still do not quite have enough room to display this chart. So again, I'll come down here, position my mouse on the chart area border on the handle. Click and drag and let's make sure we have plenty of room. Now we can see each of our products within our chart. You can see that even though you start off with one chart type, you can easily change that to another chart type through the features that are present when you go into the chart tools and the design tab and the change chart type command. Let's go ahead and move on to the next movie.